Hello everybody, uh, in uh, this screencast we're going to talk about uh, a concept called Unwind Segway. So basically, uh, let's just recap a little bit and look at the last uh, app that we built, which had multiple screens. Uh, so basically you had a, a red screen that shows up and you click the button, it segues to a yellow screen. And then basically when you click on the close button, it just dismisses the yellow screen. Okay, so now what I want to do is what if I want to send data back from the yellow screen back to the uh, red screen when the yellow screen is being dismissed. Okay, so to do that, uh, there is a concept called unwind segue. So basically the, the unwind segue concept enables you to unwind, uh, uh, unwind a specific, uh, say the yellow screen and go back to the uh, red screen and also calls a function inside the red screen. Okay, so if you look at the um, the Apple documentation, uh, we it will specify the, a specific method that we need to call uh, or a specific method format that we need to call. So let's first create the button that we are going to click to do the unbind. Unwind. So we are here. I'll call it my unwind button, right? So here it is, and we'll just add some constraints to just center it on the screen. Here we are. So now when I click this button, I want not only to dismiss this uh, yellow screen, but I also want to uh, call uh, a function back in the yellow, uh, sorry, in the red uh, view controller. So to do that, if you look at, I'll post the link for the Apple documentation, but if you look at the Apple documentation, you will see that you need to implement, there is an unwind, creating an unwind segue. You need to create a function that is, uh, it has this pattern. So I'll copy this, I'll go back to, I'll go back to uh, the the view controller for the red the red view controller function uh, uh, class is this one, and what I will do is I'll go here, and basically all what I will do is I will uh, just create this method. The method can be any name. I could say my unwind uh, function unwind function or something like that. I can do that whatever whatever name I want, right? So now I go back to the main storyboard. Now when I click this button. I want to dismiss the yellow and call the unwind uh, function we just created. Okay, so to do that is straightforward. So basically, I'll I'll click I'll click on Control, click the button, and then drag all the way to the exit. Now, when you release, it shows the 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 uh, the, uh, the 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 segue actions or the view controllers, all the view controllers that are connected to this view controller that are able to address this to handle this kind of. Uh, segue. So basically, you could see un my unwind function. It just mentions the same name. So basically, we click on it. Now, if you run this, let's go to back to the unwind function. Just put a print function here so that you could see. Okay, we'll say uh, unwind function called or something like that. Okay, let's run this again. So now basically what's going to happen is that when you click the button, it should dismiss the yellow uh, view controller and call the function in unwi the unwind function. So you look here, I click on the unwind button, and you could see that there is a print statement here indicating that this was called. You could see that uh, this is the whole uh, flow. So let's have a look again at the storyboard. Now, if you look at the storyboard for the uh, for this view controller, right? you will see that the this is the yellow view controller, right? So you look here at the yellow view controller, there is a segue that actually got created. So it created a segue automatically for you uh, based on, on our actions. And you could say that the segue doesn't have an identifier. So basically what you could do is you can have, um, give it an identifier. You could say my going back, going back segue. For example, you can give it an identifier. So why an identifier is important? The identifier enables you to pass data back. So basically, if you want to pass data back from here to here, then probably you need to listen to the event uh, of that segue happening. So how do you do that? It's very similar to what we did before. In here, you could just say prepare for segue. Prepare for segue, right? And then you could say, prepare, sorry, prepare for segue. And then I could do the, the common if statement. I could say segue dot id equals the ID that I just created, right? I could just say print uh, this called, right? So basically, I could prepare for a segue. So basically, oh, okay, segue.identifier, you need a double equal because you're doing a check. Run it again. Go back here again, and you could see that 
when that segue is being called so you can click here see when i click on the unwind segue you will see that the 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 print statement here will be printed before the function gets called so you click here you could see my going to the segue is called and then my wind function gets called so basically here is a is a chance for you to actually send data back so basically i can send data back how do i send data back go back here create a variable let's say i create a var i'll call it maybe name var name and that name is of type string and do it like this as an optional because initially it doesn't have a value go back to the uh, yellow view controller and what i could do here i could set the name i could get uh, let uh, the view controller that i'm going to okay equals uh, segue dot destination right as and then we identify that it's going to be a view controller this is this is basically the casting to view controller and i could say vc dot name equals say bob smith now and now basically i am re, uh, deciding what is the destination which is i'm going back right so the destination is whatever i'm going back to and then i'm setting the variable name in it so basically if you go back to the view controller here i could just say also print so i could check to see if if name i could say if uh, self dot name is not equal to nil right what i could do i could just go in here and i just could print oh sorry print and i can print name all right so now we run it okay now we go back so basically what's going to happen is that i'm going to the red and then i will open the yellow when i unwind basically if you go back to the code i'm not going to click it yet but if you go back to the code what we are doing is that we are listening to the segue that actually got created which is the unwind segue and then we are passing back the name bob smith which is going to be printed by the the uh, unwind segue function so basically you click it and you could see here that it's printing bob smith this bob smith is being printed by this function so basically if i just cast if i just uh, unwrap it it's not going to print that optional part right so go here and then here it is we go to the next view controller and then i wind and you could see the bob smith is being printed based on the other view controller. so you we are able to pass data from the yellow view controller back to the uh, back to the red view controller using this kind of concept i hope this was useful please let me know if you have any questions thank you